Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today I thought I would do a traditional animation cell. Uh, if you're not familiar with traditional animation, originally cartoons were drawn by hand on paper first and then drawn on acetate and flipped over on the opposite side and that's where the color was put on. I thought I would take this sketch that I did of SpongeBob and make it into a cell. So let's get started. Uh, the, if you're not familiar with Spongebob too much, the original series, the first, um, first season was done only, uh, was the only season done by hand. The other seasons up till even now were all done um, by computer animation. Uh, someone still obviously had to draw the cells I mean the original art and then it is scanned and then put in a computer was how they started doing them um, unfortunately you don't see a whole lot of computer animation um, I should say uh, you don't see too many 2d animation cartoons anymore uh, most of them are all done in the computer, which is unfortunate because you then you can't collect the art, which I love doing. I do have uh, a bunch of cells from SpongeBob. And the pen I'm using, uh, I believe most of the time animation back in the day um, were drawn using um, old type pens that have um, the nib on them and then they would dip them in the ink and use that for um, their inking on the front. It's just easier for me. Uh, I don't have to keep dipping the pen in if I just do them with this type of pen, which is actually a um, rapidograph pen used for technical drawings. Um, I'm trying to do my best as I can here. Um, it's hard to do this around a video camera. <laughs> I need to find uh, other ways to to do these but for now I just thought I would do a quick one for you and then when I get more into the hang of it I will find different ways to film these some early Disney cartoons had tons of ink on the front um, Sleeping Beauty itself, some of them had, I think, between 15 and 20 different colors, so they had to have different pens for each, or I should say different ink for each one, and then, and most of the time, they were done by women, because uh, women had less shaky hands, I guess, which is somewhat become my issue as I've gotten older, unfortunately. Because um, these should be nice sweeped lines and I'm kinda do my best to keep it a nice circle. I haven't watched SpongeBob in a long time. We ended up lowering our cable down to just standard cable channels since I don't actually get to watch much TV so it's been a while although I know the old seasons are on Amazon I think um, I don't usually get to watch Spongebob as much anymore I 
I've been wanting to do these videos for a while, but I've just been crazy busy or dealing with my health issues, um, which are no fun. But I like to, uh, art keeps me somewhat sane. So I uh, paint during the day, although lately it's been more um, homeschooling my third my son who's in third grade and that's definitely been challenging I'm sure lots of people out there in the same circumstances definitely wasn't expecting it it is definitely very challenging so I have the most respect for teachers and that one one kid alone is enough <laughs> And normally you should not fill this all in with ink, but I'll just make this one simple and color this in. Normally you would only do the outline and flip it over and then when you color it, you would just color it all in black paint. I'm assuming it's just easier that way. And um, but there's so far and this ink dries really fast um, it's actually meant for drafting but I've I found that this is the only ink that will really stay on the cell uh, I've used other ones that say waterproof but they're not um, really on the cell so you got to be careful with which one you get because either it'll wipe off the acetate or it will um, it won't look as good um, like if you try to use like a sharpie or something you're going to see through this this ink is very very good at being a solid color without having to worry about anything showing through underneath it um, if I'm just doing a generic one for someone, I might use uh, a type of Sharpie that is um, waterproof, but this, this, um, this ink doesn't chip or peel at all, and it dries really quick. Um, some of the other color or pens don't work, work that way. Um, I just use this particular ink is for drafting. I've always uh, enjoyed SpongeBob. I know some people don't like it, but I enjoy him. I just like even just the art in general. I, I really enjoy. Um, and I'll probably give this away to sell. Um, I do have a bunch of Spongebobs, uh, both the original drawings and the um, selves themselves that are painted. Uh, they're getting harder and harder to come by, at least decent ones, a lot of that stuff. Um, I noticed a few companies online that uh, on eBay that sell them, and they've kind of started getting down to the not so great cells um, and unfortunately a lot of a lot of other cells uh, you can't even get a hold of if you're lucky if you can are Don Bluth cells um, a majority of all his movie cells were donated to a college um, I believe it's in North or South Carolina and I, the only way you can see them is if you I think you if you wanted to make an appointment or something. I originally was going to go down and um, check them out, um, but I just never got to it. But uh, 
that's where most of his cells are. So that's why if you see Don Blue cells, they usually go pretty high because they're harder to find. So I'm almost done with this. I, it shouldn't take me this long, but I'm trying to, I'm kind of perfectionist and um, there you go. There is the cell. There's SpongeBob with this goofy face. That's the original drawing. That's my cell drawing. And next I will uh, flip it over and color it. I'll show you that in the next video. I'll clean this up a little bit. Stay tuned.